Hey everyone, this is Becky, Black Up Beauty 14. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of wet and wild. Finally, us UK girls can finally, or boys, can get hold of this brand. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this brand to come to the UK. I know it's been here over a year now and I'm pretty much late on the trend train, but oh well. I finally got these products, I'm finally going to do a full face of wet and wild. If you guys are going to enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe, please don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends and don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to see a little bit of, I do post a little bit of content here and there. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Rebecca or call me Becky, Bex however you want to call me <laughs> because I'm a little bit crazy don't worry my sweet we're all a little bit crazy here so come and join this family let's all have a good laugh and be crazy together so let us get started um, righty ho let's get the cat ears on shall we I'm feeling I'm feeling in the mood for cat ears I want cat ears today so let's just push my hair back Okie doke, so I'm going to be starting with the eyes first because, as you know me, I want to do something dramatic today. Ooh yeah. So, <laughs> right, so first, I'm going to be going in with eyeshadow primer. So this is, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And obviously this is just a clear eyeshadow primer. It's a very mattifying one. Ready ho, so I'm going to start by applying this eyeshadow primer. So I have used this for all. This is a very good dupe for the um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, which is a holy grail of mine. Love that primer. So this one's a good dupe. I don't know why I did that, like a cut crease, but it becomes such a force of habit now. <laughs> My god, my eyes, they feel super tacky. Yeah, ready to apply some eyeshadows. So I have my eyeshadow palette right here. So this is the very holy grail, very old classic palette, which all they've done is just rechanged the, the layout, but they're still the same colors. So this is, this is the Wet and Wild eyeshadow palette, and it's in the shade do I even need to say it? Oh, that's it. Comfort zone. <laughs> I don't know why, but as a kid, when I used to watch, when I used to look at the old version of this palette, I mean, it still has the imprints in there, but I love the fact it actually says transition in the top and the bottom. I don't know why, that's just a, a weird habit, a weird thing to be like, okay. But I think it's quite cute how it says, yeah, it says transition on both of them. But anyway, so anyway, Stop yabbing on. Let's get on putting on some makeup. So, I am actually going to go in. I'm actually going to go in with that top transition colour. I'm going to go in with that top one right there, that transition colour, because why not? Grabbing a fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with that transition colour. I don't know why I feel like a halo eye coming on, so I might just do that one today. Well, yeah, we're going to start by applying this in the crease area. I used to hear so many good things about Wet n' Wild eyeshadows, so... Uh, yeah, let's just see what we can do. Right, I'm now going to go in with the transition colour right down the bottom. So the transition colour, the really like dark fish ready colour. Just going to take that on a, whoop, a very old Revlon brush. Just going to grab that colour. And I'm going to work that in the crease as well, but I'm not going to be bringing up as high. So. Oh, 
These colors are so nice. Go back in with that same brush just to blend them together. So I'm going to be adding and blending and adding and blending and all that jazz. Right, I'm going to start by cutting the center of my eye now. So I'm going to grab my little flat brush there. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild concealer just to Great well, shape. So I'm just going to grab that. Hmm. I thought it smelled like bananas then for a second. See what I mean? We're all weird here. So I'm just going to paint the brush. So I'm just going to start painting it on my lid. Um, just looking up. Okay, so that's where the line ends. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do the same to the other eye. Right, okay, so I think I've cut my lid accurately. Yeah, I think I have. Okay, right. Right, now for the colours part. So I'm going to be going in with that light green colour, the light green colour that's under that transition colour. I'm going to just take a flat brush, just going to grab that on my brush, and I'm going to start by placing this oh, in the centre of the eye. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's quite pigmented actually. Didn't even use the, the brush for wet. Like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> but then to be fair, this palette was very overly hyped in America and I can pretty much see why it was now. So yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go in with the, obviously the darkest green color, which is that one right at the bottom. I'm gonna take a small fluffier brush and I'll start packing that. Whoa! Okie joke! I'm going to start packing this right on the edge. I'm going to try and use as many colours as I can from this palette. So, yeah. I feel a bit adventurous and I want to go in with that blue, so, hmm. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Okay, Ooh, I did not expect that colour to be dark. <laughs> well, that dark anyway, because like on the bottom it looks more like a dark green, but it comes out more of like a black green, so I will blend this out a little bit more um, afterwards. Um, I'm going to go in with that um, that blue shade. Well, it's more like a duomachrome. It's that gorgeous brown-blue um, duomachrome colour. I'm going to take another flat brush. Just going to grab that colour. I'm just going to apply that right next to that brown colour. But yeah, that's... Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that colour! Oh, I love doing my chromes. Oh, if I had to bring out an eyeshadow palette, well, if I had to, like, in a million years, but... You know, if I had to bring one out, it would all be full of Doomachromes, because I love Doomachromes. Oh, yeah. I love Doomachromes so much. Just going back in with that first green, just going to blend that beautiful bluey brown Doomachrome and that green colour together, because we don't really want to lose that colour. So, just going to blend them together. But I'm going to go back in with that greeny dark colour. Just going to add... I'm just getting the tiniest little bit to the brush. I'm just going to start emphasis because I'm lost with that darkness. So I'm just going to just bring that back. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to start blending out those edges. So just softening them out a little bit more. Right, so I fancy a little bit more pop in the centre. So I'm just going to go in with that brightest colour, which is sort of like a brow bone highlighter, but I'm going to just take that with my finger. And I'm gently going to apply this right in the centre of the eye, just to make it, just to make it pop. 
a little bit more. Okay, that's why it's pretty much done. There's a quite a lot of colour going on. You've got the green, you've got the pop in the the bright colour in the centre of the eye, you've got the duochrome, the black, there's, there's so much going on right now. <laughs> but we're going to leave the eyes for now, I'm going to move on to the face. So, for primer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, and this is a matte primer. Right, I'm going to start by applying this to my face. Sorry if you can hear a bit of banging going on, there's nothing I can do about that. So, ooh, let's just open this primer. Oh. Got the little seal. Seal for freshness. And apply this. Ooh. 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 It's a very sort of runny texture. Okay. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this sort of texture. I was expecting more like a, a silicone one. Usually the mattifying ones are quite um they're quite silicone-y. But Okay, okay. It's the primer on. It felt really nice. It felt different. I was expect, yeah, like I said, that sort of silicone texture, but uh, I don't know, this felt completely different. Oh, felt nice. It did feel nice. It didn't feel drying as well because my skin is more combination to uh, dry. So I was expecting it to be quite drying. I was a bit like, oh no, but actually it's not. It feels, feels good. 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 Right, moving on to foundation. So I have here, you guys are waiting for this one. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I chose the shade um, Soft Ivory. Okay. Oh, I did forget to mention I did buy these off Boots. Um, but you can also buy um, Wet n Wild on Beauty Bay as well. Oh, I love Beauty Bay. So, yes, I've got a mixture. I've got me some of these products from Boots and Beauty Bay. So, a little bit of both. So, right, we're going to start applying this to the face. This is the lightest shade I found. So, hopefully it will match me. So. Oh, yeah, I think this is the one that came in the spatula. Yeah, the spatula. Oh, good dog. I'm gonna start striping this down my face. Oh, actually, maybe this colour will be okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Strike that down my face. Right, I've dampened my beauty sponge. Let us give it a go. Whoa, okay, high coverage. <laughs> Well, I didn't need any more swipes of the foundation, so that's a good thing. Didn't need any more of the product, so I pretty much, yeah, looks like it's blended to me. And it's a good colour as well. I thought for a second it's going to be too pale, but, you know, just never know these things, do you? So, right, moving on to concealer. I've already taken it out of the box, but, but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I chose the lighter shade, which is Light Ivory. Well, I'm gonna start by applying that under my eyes. So. Oh, they're pretty much coming out the same color as the foundation. Oh, cool. <laughs> right. No, I definitely like I got a milk moustache. <laughs> right, got my beauty sponge. I'm gonna start blending this out. Oh, blending nicely. Yes. Don't want to fit my eyeshadow too much, so I've just made it a bit more sharper. Right, I gotta admit that concealer's got some coverage. I'm impressed. Really did cover up my dark under eye, so I feel so impressive. Right, I better set this in place before, if it does to start to crease. So I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder, and I've got the shade Warm Light. Now I had to buy this off Beauty Bay because for some reason they only had the darker shade on Boots, which I found a little bit strange. 
So yeah, I had to order the lightest shade of Beauty Bay. <laughs> so I've actually got the darker shade as well. I've actually got that with me as well, which is the shade Neutral Beige. So I'm actually going to use this to sort of I use it as a bronzer instead. So I know it might come out quite subtle on my skin, but it might help to blend out the contour that I'm going to be using. Right, so I'm stuck, going to start setting my face. But yeah, I did find it awfully strange how Boots didn't carry the lighter shade, which was this one, which was warm light. It's a little bit strange, I found. Now they only did neutral beige, which was a shade darker. So, oh well. Thanks to Beauty Bay, I now have it. So I'm just using a key code brush, the Rubella Romantic brush, and I'm just setting my face with the powder. I'm going to use the contour end, and I'm going to be doing under my eyes as well. Right, that's my face set. I got a bit worried about this powder because I tried to use it and nothing was coming off. So I thought, well, what if it's got one of those hard layers on it? So as soon as you scratch the hard layer off, the powder just comes off fine. So yeah, it kind of looks like a cat just scratched my powder. So yeah, it does look a little bit bad now, but trust me, you have to scratch that first layer off or you ain't gonna get any powder. So once you've scratched it off, it's absolutely fine. It disperses perfectly fine. So yes, word of warning, if you're using this powder, make sure you scratch the front layer off first. Otherwise, you ain't getting nothing on your brush. But there you go. Righty ho, I'm now going to be moving on to eyebrows. So I have this little eyebrow kit right here. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and this is the only one they had. It's the shade Ash Brown. Okie doke. So it's nice. It does come with two powders. It comes with a, um, a medium powder, a dark powder and a nice wax and with tweezers and a cute little brush. So I'm actually going to use this little brush because why not? So I'm going to do that little ombre brow trend that was going on. So I'm going to use the darker brow colour. Oh wow, this is pigmented. Ooh, okay. Whew. I'm going to start by working that right at the back so I'm going to start drawing that down the back whoa hello that is pigmented wow okay okay I'm not gonna need a lot of this wow I'm not gonna need a lot of that Okay, right, I'm going to go in with that lighter brown just to blend in that middle bit there to create the ombre. So I'm just going to go in with that. Oh, that's pigmented as well. Whew. Right, and I'm just going to connect it up and obviously blend them together. I find what takes me the longest to do is like eyebrows and eyeshadow. Everything else is quite quick. I always find it takes the longest, don't you? Right, well I'm certainly going for that dramatic eyebrow today. <laughs> so right, I'm going to set the brows in place. Just going to go back in with that one I used for the lighter powder. Going to use the wax right there. I'm just going to set those eyebrows in place. I always have a habit, well not a habit, but I always have problems with this brow here never wants to stay down. Never. Right, I'm going to finish off my eyes now. So I'm going to go back in with that Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette and I'm pretty much going to use exactly the same colours that I used on the lid under the lower lash line. So, but I'll, I'll sort of do it in reverse, I'll see how I go. So, right, I'm going to go in first with that that darker green black colour, the colour in disguise. I'm going to start by bringing that on the lower lash line. Just going to bring that down here. Well, it's pretty much there. I'm going to start bringing it in the inner corner now as well. Right, now I'm going to take that beautiful bluey Dumachrome, bringing that slightly on top where that colour was. So stunning, so nice. 
bright pop of green in the centre now, right in that centre. take that centre colour and then just dot that in the centre. Well I'm going to just merge those transition colours together now so take that one first. Just going to start by blending that underneath and connecting it, connecting it up. Right, doing that same now with that ready transition colour. Start blending that as well underneath. Right, I did forget to buy an eye pencil from, from Wet n Wild, so I'm just going to go back in with that eyebrow um, colour with that same brush. I'm just going to pack this in the. Just going to pack that gently into the waterline. Just very gently. Right, and to finish this eye look off, oh, before I do, I need to apply a brow brown highlighter. Ooh, 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 okay. I don't want to forget about that. So, just gonna use the same brush I used the concealer with, it's okay. So I'm just gonna grab that, grab that lightest color, and I'm gonna place that slightly underneath. Brow bone. Oh yeah. Okay, those brows are looking very lifted. Now to fish these eyes off now, I'm gonna go in with the mascara. I'm using the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara, and obviously I got the shade, obviously it's black, black mascara. Right, so I'm gonna start applying the mascara to the lashes. Right, just going to apply a little bit to my lower lash line as well. I have got made a mistake there, but I will clean it up when it dries. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the lower lash line. Right, my eyes are now done and we are going to finish off my face. So I am going to be using the very loved contour um, palette so I'm going to be using I'm going to be going in with contour sorry I'm going to go in with contour now so I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild contouring palette and it's in the shade Dolce de Luce. unfortunately mine came a little bit smashed when I got it on delivery but oh well never mind so <clears throat> But this is very well hyped in America as well. So I'm going to take that angle there. And I'm just going to go in with that darker shade. All very I'm going to start by contouring my face. I wonder what that powder's like under the eyes, that yellow powder. I'm going to just take another fluffy brush. Let's see what it's like under the eye area. Wow, that is brightening. Well, that certainly is brightening. It definitely looks more bronzy than it does contoury, but never mind. Um, I'm going to go back in with that other pressed powder, so that neutral beige one, the one that was slightly too dark for me. And I'm actually going to use that as a bronzer and just sort of blend out the lines we've got going on. So. We'll see how it comes out. So let's have this, let us see. I'm going to take that other side because this is great. This is multifunctional. You can use it as a bronzer brush and a um, and a setting brush. And it shows up slightly. Hmm. I pretty much could have got away with probably setting the face with this powder, but oh well. It's nice just to blend 
Nice to blend it out anyway. Oh yeah, I can slightly see it, yeah. Very natural. It's like a very natural bronze, very light. Smooth. Yellow powder from the Dr. Delace. I'm just gonna blend out my nose slightly. I'm just playing around guys, you know. I'm just having a little play around, so. Right, I've just gone over with that Dolce Delace, the darker shade. I've just gone over that, Just I've just tried to stamp a little bit around the edges and then going back in with that setting powder and then just going it on top, just to make it a little bit more subtle. So you can make these things work, guys. You can, all these products, these powdery products are so multifunctional, you can pretty much use them for anything. If you put your mind to it, so. But that's worked out really nice. That setting powder's just sort of softened out everything. So, go back in with that same brush. Gonna go in with that yellow powder now. Oh, very powdery. And I'm gonna sharpen up my edges. Think about how I usually do. I might put a bit at the centre of my nose as well to brighten my nose. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I can see why this was very hyped in America now. <laughs> but yeah, if I used the darker shade, that probably would have been that probably would have been a contour shade for me. But I still like it. Don't get me wrong, I still love it. So it's just when you get these things, they look it just it looks so dark in the pan. When you apply it, it's actually lighter, you know. You just never know these things. But still I like it. I see why it's very hyped. I really like it. I like it a lot. So right, I'm going to move on to blush. So, I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Colour Icon and this is the shade Apricot in the Middle. So it's a nice orangey, um, bronzy colour. Okay, dog. Right, I'm going to use my same Kiko brush. I've just wiped off the Axis product, just got a tissue and just wiped it off. So, I'm going to just dip into that blush and I'm just going to start applying this to my cheeks oh that's so pretty I like that so pretty so nice really like that yeah I'm not a makeup artist at all guys, I just like to play around with these products, even though some of these products aren't, I use them for what not they're not intended for, I just like to play around, you know, sometimes I'll use a blush as a bronzer, you know, you can make anything work, I just like to play around with them really, so I'm not a makeup artist, I just like to try makeup, apply, apply makeup and all that jazz. Now the part I'm excited for, the highlighter, so this is the... Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder and I got the shade Blossom Glow. I'm super excited for this because these highlighters have been so hyped in America. So I'm going to grab this. This is a very old Kiko brush. This is the uh, Kiko Eyes 200 brush. They don't make this one anymore. They've rechanged the packaging to it now. So I'm going to grab the highlighter. Ooh. And ooh. I'm going to apply that Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. This is just as hyped as it was in America. I'm going to keep saying that for the whole video. I'm going to keep saying, oh my gosh, this is hyped in America. This is hyped in the US. This is hyped in America. Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty much going to keep saying it. <gasps> oh, let's intensify it. I'm just going to grab the Wet n Wild setting spray. Brush. Spritz that. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Oh, that safe spray smelled really nice actually. Oh, oh. Yes, give me the glow. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. 
and that, and that. Oh, it's so sad this video is nearly coming to an end. I'm having so much fun with all these products. Ooh. Right, gonna move on to lips now. So I have the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Berry Recognize. Right, I'm just gonna apply it to my lips now. The applicator, don't you, don't you think it reminds you of like the Jeffree Star liquid lips? The, the applicator reminds you a lot of the Jeffree Star ones? I don't know, it's just me. <laughs> Super big minted. Right, just gonna set my face in place with that setting spray. Oh, oh, that does smell really nice. And that is it, guys. This is the completed look. I finished it off with a little bit of that highlighter, just pop that in the center of my lips. I felt like it was missing something. It needed a bit more pizzazz. And then I put, I just chucked on some falsies. These are my favorite ones at the moment. I've been using them so much on my Instagram. These are the Superdrug Lashes and then the Intense Volume Edition, Volume Edition 30. So these ones are just really nice. They're easy to put on, they're, they're fluttery and yeah, I really like them. So yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was just so much fun to film. I mean, all the makeup videos I film are fun to do, but this one especially, I found I was a bit more creative, got a little bit more boom out there. So yeah, got a little bit more, you know, with the powder and that sort of thing, just playing around a little bit more, which is nice, you know, because makeup is very creative. It's nice to be playing around with it and nice to be a bit creative. So yeah, it was really fun, really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye.